with the pockets and no belt and no belt uh, Little Red Devils out today city of Minneapolis on the north side the notorious north side they don't come here often because it's very dangerous um, especially not in those neighborhoods I'd like to show you some stuff up there I tried to a couple times both times didn't go so well um, and I was saying to myself is this gonna happen is this gonna happen again oh and it almost did again it almost happened twice and so <laughs> thankfully it didn't Nothing too serious happened, but it was, yeah. Uh, they were very concerned about who I was, <laughs> so I, I had to leave. This is uh, um, a melted, damaged brick wall. You know what it is. You know what this is? Yeah, melted, damaged concrete cinder block wall. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It was, connect it was connected to this wall. Yes, it was. Bricks melted in between and got wedged in between both walls. It's all heat damaged. Got Lichtenberg figures on the concrete. It's all blackened and burnt and scorched. Concrete doesn't see heat, it gets poured. And we got Lichtenberg figures of heat. We know what heat looks like. It don't take any more than a second to, to know what heat looks like. Right? You know when the stovetop is hot and red, you don't touch it, right? And you know what heat looks like. You know what heat looks like. You know what heat looks like. In electrical heat as well, it would seem. Very Lichtenberg y. Very Lichtenberg y. And lots of ash to eat, burnt, and concrete doesn't see heat. So why, so why and when and how did it see that much heat? Just in the joint. The bricks on this side too as well. If you can see in there, uh, maybe not. The mortar all muffed up and damaged. All muffed up and damaged. Squeezing out, pillowing out between the bricks. And uh, this uh, building is way in the ground side. In the ground, in the ground. In, in the terrace, in the terrace. Here's the wall, here's the bricks. You know, you know the deal, baby. The limestone, the bricks have turned to limestone and cookie crisp. Limestone and cookie crisp. And the limestone can be yellow or, or gray. Yellow or, or both in the same piece. It can be both in the same piece. We've seen that before. The bricks can turn into stuff that looks like concrete and cement. It can kind of all just morph together, but it was still bricks. You can see the joint underneath. This was the brick in here. The bricks, that's the mortar joint. But they've turned to what? It looks like concrete, but they were what? Red bricks. Yes, they were. This is, here's a brick here. Standard English bricks. Standard English bricks. Uh, and you can still see the perfect edge on that one. Okay? They all were. Even the balloon, balloon rocks. Balloon rocks. Here's a, perfect, here's a perfect brick still with a stamp on it. It has a stamp on it. And it got turned sideways. We don't lay, uh, that's interesting. It's laying the wrong way. So, see the bricks? Regular bricks. We don't mix those with boulders like that. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. And it's smushed down. Let's see the melt pattern. How this is melting down. It's, it's coming down. It's dense. It's, the buoyancy and density, baby. And it's forcing its way downward. You can see. The way it was traveling down and all this mortar, it's not. All the mortar was bleeding through. All this melt bleeding through. These are regular bricks and courses. Look how mopped up and heat damaged it all is. There's some paint here, but it's kind of screwing it up. But rain is raining again. I don't give a rat's ass. And these here, old world steps, those are the original steps. They're not new. They have not been placed in here. If they were, did they, whoever did it would, would have been the, the most uh, skilled of concrete masons to exist. To be able to get these as flush as they are like this, it's not have anything showing um, of, of any signs of the process of that happening. No, 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 um, um, it's 100% it's, it's, uh, clean. There's nothing here indicating that anything has been done recently or was done after the event. 
this is all part of the same damage. The concrete steps, which are probably brick underneath those, and the walls, which are brick underneath the concrete rendering. These are all concrete rendered walls. These ones were they had concrete renderings and concrete uh, cement uh, borderings, and they were rounded. Up there, see, they were rounded. Everything was fancy and custom designed, and you can see that the steps, the melt is a part. It goes over the step. The step goes. The concrete steps going underneath the melt. No, they did not. Nobody's laying concrete and doing that type of artwork right there for, for what? Well, you know how difficult that would be to get this flat and perfect like this, and then to get the edge perfect like that underneath the melt? Underneath the melt? It's part of it, it's melted together. It's all original. And they look perfect like they were, like they were made yesterday. Like they were made yesterday. And those are old world, they're fused. The melt is coming over the concrete. Who would do that? Nobody. Concrete masons know that. So, so some of you may not understand that yet. Um, but people that know building and concrete and have worked on site with concrete masons and, and GCs and all that, uh, no, there's no way. That's impossible. That's ridiculous. Not, not even an art project. Not even, not even an art project. It's too difficult to do this. This is damage. So, looking right into the wall. We'll walk up those in a moment. There's a, here's a brick turned sideways. Somebody forgot the Newport right there. Somebody forgot the new port right there, baby. You better believe it's a new port. We're right here in the middle of it. Right here in the middle of it, baby. Right in the middle of it. Mother Muffin Hood, baby. You ain't kidding. We really are, too. So we're gonna get moving here and get to the next location. So here's the edge of the wall. Oh, somebody might be living up here. I'm not sure. I might be bothering somebody. I saw some bunch of stuff up there. I don't wanna bother anyone. But I do wanna take a peeky boo up here because I think there might be something up here. Yeah, this is, see the melt is going over the concrete siding here, going over it, the melt, this melt flood, see, pillowing out over, over this stuff, see how it's coming down, fusing into it, fusing into it, and it's just a messy, just a mess, it was just, it got rocked, rocked at rock by baby, they were perfect bricks and rows, corsets, baby. And look at all this came over this cut. This is all original concrete. I love seeing the I love seeing the different masonry materials because they're all so perfect. Look how crisp these edges are. They always have these are routed always. <clears throat> See the old world stuff today. We don't do that. We don't go through all that trouble. We don't go through all that trouble. We don't do that. These are nice steps too. They're big. And, oh, what's up here? What is this? Somebody good? Oh, yeah, somebody's staying here. Yeah, this is trash. This is somebody's trash. Now we're on the top of the building. Give me a break. how they build it this way? how they build it from the inside? how they build it from the inside? Yeah, dude, look at this. Talk about the, the ghetto. You gotta be kidding me. How do you build a structure like this? We're on the roof. This is a big building. You saw how far down we look how far down it goes way down there. We just came all the way up. You'd have to build it from the inside, and you're not gonna do that. Against all this earth, right? And, and you gotta and you gotta flush and level all the way down like that? All the way, yeah, really? How long did that take? How long did that take? Sure you could do it, but it take how long how long would that take? Right. Come on. No, there is a camp here though. Somebody is there, I think. I don't know. Looks like pretty recent. Neat, neat tarp tent. Little tarp tent. Looks just like a Coleman. And these are new cinder blocks, so I'm not interested. Not interested. I think these folks alone are going to be. Nice, nice place up there. Nice little. Right by the highway, though. Yeah, I like the central, the central stuff right there, too. No way are these anything to do with anything new world. These are all old world, baby. The concrete rendering, the concrete, watch, right into the melt. It got from the bottom up. The heat came from the bottom. See, the heat came from the bottom. Watch this. Look at how, uh, you see, we can see better from up there. Hang on. See how rugged and jagged it is down here? And follow it as it, because the heat came up. Because we're going upstairs, right? And it gets better and better and better. And it's like brand new up here. Because the heat came from where? The bottom up, see? The heat came, the heat's all, it was dancing down here. 
loose, shuffling. And then up here, right at this point, there's a transition point uh, for the extreme damage. And then it's, it, yeah, from up here, it didn't, it, it reached in here, because these are Lichtenberg figures, skin cracks. They have that strange frayed out pattern. But yeah, this is all, all original. Very unique, this round, strange looking edge. <laughs> Very different. Nothing we do today. Very, they are very unique. Whoever designed this stuff, maybe it was just one, one force, one, one architect. I don't know. It may have been.